Hello, my name is Eldridge Henley and I'm the CTO at QBox. I'd like to use this brief video to show you some of the improvements that we implemented in our next-gen QBox hosted Elasticsearch platform, which we released in 2021. This was a major release for us and we essentially recreated our platform from the ground up. Many of the improvements relate to cluster management, cluster security, and role-based access control, which we refer to as RBAC, as well as other features. Let's talk about some of the new features available only through the NextGen QBox dashboard. The improved UI is the heart and soul of our user-facing improvements, and the first thing you'll notice is that the home dashboard is much more informative. There are cards for each cluster, and each of these cards show you your cluster endpoint, historical and real-time CPU, RAM, and disk usage metrics, along with your software version, the name of the Elasticsearch cluster, its health status, and the price per month. Up top, you have options for configuring new clusters, account information, such as users and viewing account level audit logs, and billing, where you can view invoices. To see more detail or to modify your current cluster, you simply click on Manage and choose View Edit Details. From here, you see the same real-time metrics for CPU, RAM, and disk. You also see a tabbed interface to view or modify your cluster's resources, such as RAM, CPU, and the actual number of nodes. A security tab allows you to handle security options, such as creating secure cluster credentials and adding allowed IPs. You can also configure alert recipients. A backups tab lets you view nightly automatic snapshots, restore a cluster, or create a cluster from a snapshot. In addition, you now have the capability to manually create a snapshot whenever you need it. And finally, there's a new alerts tab. Along with receiving alert emails, this tab also provides insights into your cluster should you have any Elasticsearch cluster level issues such as unassigned shards, high CPU, and high heap usage. We also provide a more detailed summary section on the right hand side so you can see at a glance information such as software used, region and zone information, per node configuration, total cluster resource details, and hourly and monthly costs to the cluster. Not only is NextGen provisioning more intuitive than ever before, it also comes with enabled settings for cluster stability and high availability set as default when you create a cluster. Let's go through these capabilities as we provision a new cluster by clicking Create Cluster from the top toolbar. From here, we see our new Create New App page, where I will enter a name for my new cluster. I'll name it New Cluster. I'll next choose the version of Elasticsearch I need. By the way, I'd also like to note that QBox supports multiple ES versions going back generations. Now we select a region to deploy the cluster to, along with what availability zone I want my cluster to live in. Just to note, we currently offer three regions and we'll be adding more as they are requested. Multi-AZ by default is an important improvement over what we offered in QBox's initial legacy system. And this gives your cluster the ability to withstand zone-related downtimes should they ever occur. We will leave it at three zones, which will give us three nodes total. Note that we recommend no fewer than three zones and three nodes to maximize your cluster fault tolerance and indices availability for a production level cluster. You will notice that we shift the resource dials to modify the amount of RAM. The CPU dial automatically shifts along with this, updating available CPU to choose from. We provide this capability because at certain levels we need a golden ratio of RAM to CPU and going above that ratio can introduce instability or the possibility of wasted resources. You can also add as many nodes as you need to your cluster. Again, anything less than three is strongly discouraged for production use. The amount of disk available for your cluster is tied to the amount of RAM you choose. If you need more disk space, you simply need to increase your available RAM. As these dials are modified, you will also see your node configuration, total cluster resources, and your hourly and monthly cost change within the summary section on the right. You can also add a Kibana dashboard and Elasticsearch HQ monitor at no extra cost enable Java Transport if it is needed. We also offer several plugin options that vary depending on the Elasticsearch version you chose. You can also enable allowed IPs, which will restrict connectivity to your cluster to only the IPs you decide to allow. Let's now create our new cluster by clicking Launch on the bottom right. Our cluster is now being provisioned. You can follow along with this progress by monitoring the progress bar. You can also step away from your computer because you'll be notified by email when the new cluster is ready. To sign up for NextGen QBox, all you need to do is click Get Started from our homepage. Once you verify your account, simply use the NextGen login link to access your dashboard. If you are a legacy QBox customer and interested in migrating over to NextGen, please submit a support ticket and we will guide you through the process. Remember, 
Help from our support team is here 24 seven and is and always will be 100% free to all of our customers. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. This concludes your walkthrough for NextGen QBox. Please keep an eye on our blog page for more tutorials, as well as regular release blogs that will keep you up to date on all the new features of NextGen as they are released. Again, my name is Eldridge Henley, and we are excited for the future of NextGen QBox. We hope you enjoy the new implementation of our host Elasticsearch offering. Not only does it offer the stability, simplicity, and value our customers expect from us, it also offers the first wave of frequently requested new features. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, thank you for choosing QBox.